Let's, let's read what the Apostle Paul says. I say this for your own benefit, not to lay any restraint upon you, but to promote good order and to secure your undivided devotion to the Lord. Meaning to say, Apostle Paul is saying, have an undivided devotion, service to the Lord. What is What's the meaning of the word undivided, undistracted? Walang abala, undistracted devotion in serving God. Remove all distractions. Remove all those hindrances in serving the Lord. What is your hindrance? Some of you may be gadgets. Lumubos na oras mo sa gadget. Whatever is your vice right now, these are the distractions in your life. You have so many friends and dying to matawag sa'yo. You're reading the Bible, people keep on calling, calling, calling. Distractions. Napakaraming nagme-message sa'yo kasi nakakunin ka sa salibong tao. Do you really need all of those people in your life? Kailangan mo ba talaga sila sa buhay mo? You need to audit your life. Choose few friends that are really, really good. Amen. The Bible says, if you have plenty of friends, you will come to destruction. But there is one friend that sticks closer than a brother, Amen. and his name is Jesus Christ. Amen. If you have Jesus as your friend, you have everything. Amen. Amen. He is more valuable than 10,000 friends connected in your Facebook. Hallelujah. He is more valuable than your 10,000 connections in your Facebook. If you are connected to Jesus, connected to the Word of God, to the Bible, He will give you all wisdom, 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 knowledge, understanding, wisdom, advice, coaching, wisdom to push you to success. If you're connected to the Bible, that's, that, that's your Facebook Bible. Read it every day. Read it every day. Every word in the Bible is wisdom. Amen. Feed your hearts and your mind with wisdom of God. And you'll become wise. You make wise decisions in every area of your life. In your finances, in your relationship, in your jobs, in your ministry, in your family. You make right decision, good decision, wise decision. So you will not stumble. Lagi like, stumble, you stumble. You make wise decisions. Every word in the Bible, every time you open the Bible, New Testament, Old Testament, they are all wisdom. And the Bible says, wisdom is supreme. Ibenta mo lahat just to get wisdom. Sell everything just to get wisdom. Wisdom is supreme. People will discern if you are wise or a foolish person. The Bible says, even on the street, you will see and you will recognize how a foolish person walks. Naglalakad pa lang siya, alam mo na siya, ang foolish siya. Paano ba maglakad ang foolish? <laughs> Kasi yung lasing. Drunk people are foolish. Sino na lasing dito ng araw? Huwag na, lahat kayo. Everybody got drunk before you knew Christ. Sino na isang amen? Amen! Amen! How do you walk in Bangkok? Wow! Nice girls! Thailandese! Nice girls! Somebody cop! Somebody cop! Forget those! Amen! O kayo, saan kayo galing? The Bible says, a foolish person, even when he walks, you will recognize him that he's a foolish person. Makikilala ka kung talaga hangal ka. But a wise person can be recognized also the way they walk. They look smart. At hindi sila dumadaan dyan sa mga gilid-gilid ng mga bar. Amen. Kasi baka mahila ka ng 
Maraming humihila dyan. <laughs> dito ka na, mura kami rito. Dito ka na, holy ka. O ito, alcohol. Right? But we are people belonging to God. I say this for your own benefit. Apostle Paul says, for your own benefit, this for your own benefit. Hindi ko kayo pinipigilan. I'm not uh, laying any restraint upon you. Akala nyo pinipigilan kayo ng pastor nyo. Si pastor naman, he's so tight, he's so restraining. No, this is for your own benefit. What I'm doing, and what pastor, what pastor Richard is doing, what we are doing for you, is for your own benefit. Amen. We are not restraining you. We are coaching you, we are teaching you, we are leading you, we are guiding you. Because we came from a very wicked, dark places before we come to the church. So pagdating mo sa church, dala mo lahat yung bad habit mo. Because galing ka sa darkness eh. So, you come to the church, again Christian ka, but the bad habits are, are still there. Disobedient. Amen? Amen. Bakit ganyan? Ang daming rules. <coughs> Go to hell, walang rules. Go to hell, there's no rules in hell. Everybody dies. Amen? Ba't kanyan, sobrang linis dito. Sa hell, madumi, doon ka, maraming uhul. You like that? You like that? We are training you to be clean kasi sa heaven, clean. Baka magkalat-kalat ka parang ng balat ng candy. Amen? Eh, sabi ng angel sa iyo, Lord, paano nakapasa to? Sa man church galing to, very dirty person, very dirty Christian. Ay, hindi siya chief galing yan. When I'm in heaven, I will tell, Lord, that Christian is not from chief. We are all clean in our church. Palagpakan ng Lord. Kasi baka mga pagdating niyo sa heaven, kakalat-kalat pa kayo ron. Binisita ni Jesus yung bahay mo, yung plato mo, hindi mo hinugasan. Jesus would say, Why are you not washing your plate? Where did you come from? Di ba tinuro ng pastor yan sa inyo? Nasisi pa yung pastor. So we are training you because when we come to heaven, everything is clean, everything is organized, everything is nice, everything mabango. Ganun doon. So we are being trained here. Kaya sabi rin ni Apostle Paul, I'm not restraining you. But I'm promoting a good order. Amen. I'm promoting a good order. Amen. Good order. Sabi ni Apostle Paul. Are we getting this now? Amen. Kasi baka sa opyo, ako, andiyan si pastor, magtago tayo. <laughs> Alam mo naman ako. Nagume, <laughs> <laughs> pulot siya. <laughs> Oh, bakit sumobra na naman yung pagkain? Sumobra na naman yung pagkain. <laughs> Di ba dapat tama lang ang lagay sa plato? Amen. Yeah. Basura, hindi pa ako nakikita po nun, ha? Promote order lang po yun. I'm not your boss. I'm your team leader. Amen. We are a team. We are all on the same level. We are just team leaders. We're not your boss. Some of you cannot, you know, cannot obey and they're resisting because they thought the pastors are boss. We are not boss. We are called shepherds. Kayo po ay shepherd din. We are just chief shepherds. We are chief servant. Pag ganyan naisip mo na the pastor is a team leader, aba team leader pala siya, so we are all a member of a team, susunod ka kasi team tayo. Pero when you have the thinking na The pastor is the boss. There is a tendency for you not to obey. Right? Why? Because of your old pride still there. You don't obey anybody. But in Christianity, humility is number one. Humbleness. Are we getting this? So even Apostle Paul says, to the Corinthians, to the church in Corinth, I want to promote good, Order also, 
and to secure your undivided devotion to the Lord. It's the reason why sometimes we are restraining you. Galing ka na sa church, magkakoffee ka pa sa labas, nabot ka ng 4 a.m. in the morning. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Nag-fellowship na nga tayo sa church, busog na busog ka na dahil merong may birthday. Alam mo naman si church natin, laging abundant food. Magkakoffee ka pa hanggang 4 a.m. Eh, may service bukas. Web service tomorrow. And then the next day, grouchy ka. You have no power, you have no energy, you have no enthusiasm. Eh, asher ka. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Chi. <laughs> I'm blessed to see you. Kasi kuya K. I'm blessed to see you. You have no energy. Amen? It's not a show of restraint. Hindi po kayo pinipigil. Si pastor naman, pati pagkakapin namin, pinakikialaman. <laughs> well, the author of that is Apostle Paul, not me. Read the verse. I say this for your own what? Benefit. Benefit. Amen. For your own benefit po yun. Not to, less, not to lay any restraint upon you. Hindi po kayo pinipigil. We're not holding you. We're not putting a chain in your neck. This is for your benefit. Amen. And to promote good order. To promote good order. And to secure your undivided devotion to the Lord. Meaning to maintain your undivided service to God. Kasi you're always energetic. Amen. Enthusiastic. Because you're ready, you sleep early. You go home at 11, you sleep at 12. Oh, diba? When you wake up in the morning, you are energetic, ready for the service tomorrow. Amen. If you're an usher, you can come early. Amen. Amen. Ushers come early. 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 Amen. Sino ya usher mo kung lahat dumating na? <laughs> <laughs> Ikaw yung in-usher. Hello, usher. Hi! What's your ministry? I'm usher. <laughs> you're 30 minutes late and you're usher. So, ushers, come early. Amen. Prepare the place, prepare your heart to greet the people. Are we getting this? Amen. We must have some sense. I'm sure, guys, you're pretty Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Peter saw Jesus walking on the water. Not only Peter, the disciples. Our God can walk on water. He's the true living God. Amen. He can walk on water. Muhammad cannot walk on water. He will drown. <laughs> Buddha will float. Malaki kasi yung chart. <laughs> but he cannot walk on water. But our Lord Jesus Christ can walk on water, on fire, on air, on clouds. He can walk anywhere. Hallelujah! Why? Because Jesus is the only true living God. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! He can walk on water. He can walk on fire. He can walk on the wind. He can walk on the clouds. Why? He's the only true God. Amen. He's the only true God. Amen. The disciples saw... Jesus walking on the water. And they were so afraid. Sino nga naman hindi matatakot dyan? Multo, multo, ghost, ghost, ghost. Macho man yan, pero takot din sa multo. Husky, fisherman. But when they see ghost, 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 ghost. Jesus says, fear not! It's me! Praise God. Jesus walking on the water. 
Can you imagine who our God is? And Peter says, Lord, if it's really you, apa? Binalitate pa si Lord. He's validating Jesus. Don't you realize that? If you are really Jesus, ask me to come with you on the water. He validated Jesus. Ano ka kayo si Jesus to? Okay, Jesus says, come. Just one word from Jesus. You can walk on your own water. What did Jesus say? Just one word. Come. And Peter started to walk on the water. While he was focusing on Jesus. Suddenly, the wind comes. <laughs> The wind. Are you hearing the wind then? Praise God. When the wind comes, he removed his focus on Jesus. He looked at the wind and started to sink. When the problem comes, don't remove your focus on Jesus. Amen. Because you will sink. If you focus on the problem, if you focus on the trouble, if you focus on your need, you will sink. You will sink. But if you put your focus on Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God, you can walk on your own water. Yeah. Hallelujah. You can walk on the water, meaning to say, you can walk on top of your troubles. Your problem will be under your feet. Amen. Peter was distracted. The divide by attention to Peter. He was distracted. So what happened to him? Failure. When you are distracted by the devil, you will fail. Don't let the enemy distract you. Don't let the enemy distract you. You're serving God. You're being used by the Lord. Somebody invites you. Let's go to Bahrain. There's nothing wrong in going to Bahrain. And then the next time, let's go to Dubai. There's nothing wrong in going to Dubai. Let's go to Abu Dhabi. Eh, kaya lang nagkasunod-sunod na, na-distract na yung service ko sa Panginoon. Natanggal ka na sa ministry. Amen? Amen. Eh, kasi sunod-sunod ka ng absent eh. Nagpunta ka ng Bahrain. Ay, masarap pala sa Bahrain. May baboy. There's pork. Sa Pilipinas, sobra-sobrang daming baboy doon. Kumain ka na na kumain doon. Eat all you can. Hanggang ma-stroke ka na. Let's go to Bahrain. Let's go to Bahrain. What are we going? We're going to eat pork. We're going to eat pork. Babu, babu. Alam mga Pilipino, parang hindi na kakain ng babu. Punta ng Bahrain, kumasos ng 3,000 riyas just to eat barbecue. When you land at Naiya, order all the barbecues you want. You say 3,000 reals going to Bahrain. Amen. Amen. Let's go to Dubai. Marami raw girls doon. <laughs> oh, sino yan? <laughs> Punta ka Dubai. Pagbalik mo, may sipilis ka na. <laughs> may AIDS ka na. Pagbalik mo, you return. Riyadh, you have AIDS. Kutahan ng jablo yan eh. It's the devil's den. What did the devil say to Jesus? Jesus, look at this all these glorious cities. I'm gonna give them to you if you worship me. Why? Because all these cities has been given to me. 
So, hindi ka na makapaglingot sa Panginoon. You cannot serve God anymore. Kasi may AIDS ka. Tinatest natin dito mga servants kung okay. Tinatest ang spirit, ang righteousness. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, don't let your service be distracted by anything. By travel. I gave you the technique, right? You go to YouTube, you go to Paris, and watch Paris over the YouTube. You save money for visa, you save plane ticket, you save hotel ticket. After one hour of sorting and you know, surfing, whatever, you rest, you sleep in your own house. Nakarating ka ng Paris, nakabalik ka, hindi ka napagod. You save a lot of money. Did you know we went to Europe? I, I spoken to one, one girl in Pimpais. We went to Europe. Look at, look at the camera. Look. Oh, wow, wow, wow. How much did you spend? 20,000 reals. Oh, my God. <laughs> they spent 20. And it's credit. Inutang pa. Nagka-utang ka pa ngayon? 20,000 reals? Just to see the mountains in Switzerland. Hello. It's all in the YouTube. <laughs> I've been to Switzerland already through YouTube. I saw mountains, trains, rocks. That's all you can see in Switzerland. Nothing else. Check tonight. <laughs> That's all you can see. There's nothing. You save a lot of money. There's not much people in Switzerland. Very lonely place. Wisdom. One time I spoke to somebody who, who toured in Toronto. Oh, you've been to Toronto? Yeah. There, I think she's an Indian. Very nice place. I, I've been here and here and there. Have you been to this place? I asked her. Oh, I don't have time to come to that place. Have you been to this garden? Oh, I don't have also time to go. Hey, Kupasya, sa YouTube ko lang tinignan. Akala niya, galing din ako Toronto. <laughs> Ano nice place? Sabi ko, garden na yun, Toronto garden. It should have been there. Akala niya, galing ako Toronto. Sa YouTube ko lang nakita yan. <laughs> Pati yung tower, Toronto tower. I've been to the top. You can go to the top of Toronto tower. Through YouTube. You save a lot of money. And time. And vacation days. You save. Spend mo na sa family yung bakasyon mo. Amen? Amen. I've told this to you. My, my son is in Canada. We're gonna go to South Dakota. Dad, we're gonna go to South Dakota. Okay. I'm in South Dakota already. We beach pa siya. He's still dressing up. And I'm in South Dakota already. I check the hotels and everything. The town, the people, the transportation, the river, everything. Let me talk to him again. Son, I've been to Santa Cota already. <laughs> the things that you will see, I saw already. Without any effort, without any expense. The subconscious mind doesn't know the difference between reality and picture. It just goes to your subconscious mind, you saw the place. Alam mo yung lugar na may mga hanging coffin? Sa Mountain Province ba yun? Sagada. Sagada. Naku, napakahaba ng biyahe. From Manila, nine hours yata. More than pa, no? Tapos may mga alpen. Yung difficult terrain. Our daughter will go to Sagada. Oh, I'm Sagada. I saw the hanging coffin already. I saw the town. The people, etc. Oh, Denise, I've been to Sagada already. <laughs> the thing that you will see, I saw already. Nag-travel pa siya na nine hours, pagbalik sa bahay, pagod na pagod. Very tired. The thing she saw, I see also. The hanging coffins. What about the hanging coffins? What's special about the hanging coffins? Nothing. Diba? Be smart, save your money, save your time, keep serving God. Don't be distracted by anything. This is what Apostle Paul is telling us. Amen. You learned something today? Amen. Amen.
You don't need to go to Europe, amen? You don't need to go to Paris, you don't need... If you have money, fine. Pero ipapangutang mo lang, it's not fine. Pero I advise you, hindi kayo mapapagod. Watch it on YouTube. You will not get tired. You will sleep with a very nice sleep. Galing ka ng Paris, galing ka ng Austria. One time I went to Austria. Wow, this is Austria. Been to Austria. Next time I go to Antarctica. Who wants to be with me? I've been to New Zealand also in Australia. Different places in Australia. I've seen those. Through YouTube, may explanation pa. Kasi there is an announcer explaining to you the trip. Eh kasi madidistract yung ating paglilingkod sa Panginoon. I don't want my service to be distracted. I want every Friday to be with you. To give you the Word of God as much as possible. Amen? Amen. So this is the lesson from Apostle Paul tonight. Don't let your services be distracted. Keep focus. Keep your focus serving Jesus. And you'll see the blessing of God will be poured out into your life. And you will secure your salvation. Give the Lord a clap of praise. Close your eyes. Jesus, we pray, O oh God, that you help our members to be focused on serving you, Lord. Keep them away, Lord, from all distractions in serving you, O oh God. Lord, bless your people tonight. Bless them by your word. Bless them by wisdom and knowledge and understanding that they receive, O oh God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody say, Amen. Praise God.